Hey everyone, welcome back. So today my clients come in and I have prepped all of her nails. I've done all the cuticle work, um, extra all the nail plates, dehydrated, cleansed, all that lovely stuff. And then I'm going straight in with my acrylic application. So on this baby finger, it's going to be a full glitter nail. So as always, I'm applying my clear base. I will go straight in with glitter and cap so that I can pinch this nail. So I want that acrylic roughly setting all at the same time. Today, my choice of brush is the CJP size 12 because we are going to do quite a complex, uh, not polished design on this set of nails. When picking up your beads, you absolutely want them to be super wet and super tiny, especially when you're picking up glitter. You can see how tiny those beads are when they are placed on the nail. But I have mentioned in the previous video that I have been requested to do a glitter pickup uh, video, so I will definitely go through that with you guys. Another little tip for you is to cap your glitter with a slightly wetter bead than what you usually would if you were to build a nail with. This just makes the clarity of your clear acrylic work better. It avoids any dull spots and just makes your glitter really pop through. I've skipped past the ring finger but I have already just built a clear tip on that nail because we are going to go and do our not polished design on that nail. So I've gone straight onto the middle finger which is just going to be full buttermilk from CJP. It's like a beautiful soft white, um, it's not as white as snow white but it's just a really nice softer white. Um, yeah, I just thought I would give this one a little bash today because we're using gold and I didn't want to make it like super bright white. The way I'm building the nail is placing my first bead at that join from the nail form to the free edge of the natural nail, building out my tip and the shape and then I will go in with my cuticle bead making sure that I'm tucking that right into that into the cuticle area but not touching any of the skin using the tip of my brush as a nice wall and then when I'm happy with the application on that I will go ahead and just cap this nail in a bit of crystal glass to make sure my apex and my strength is perfect and in the correct place you don't have to you can build with your colors and stuff like that but I always like to just apply that you know extra peace of mind and just apply that little bit of clear acrylic so moving back to the ring finger, and I'm going to start off by doing the braid nail. So I'm placing perfect peach at the cuticle area and then making like a triangle shape. And I will leave this to set before I come back and file it nice and crisp and apply my next lot of colours. sure you're building that height as well with that first bit of colour blocking because you don't need to cap these nails so make sure you're building all your strength and structure with the beads you're placing. So I've moved on to the index finger I'm just going to do a glitter fade so I'm applying perfect peach at the cuticle area blending upwards into the tip and then I will go in with that gold glitter that I mixed myself fading from the tip downwards back to the cuticle area and then I will cap this nail.
back to that not polished design I'm taking my hand file and I'm putting it bolt straight up to them sides and I'm just filing them super crisp and then I'm going to go carry on this pattern with the rest of the colours going up the nail So I'm going in with buttermilk and I'm going to place that up one side of the cut that we've created. Trying to keep it relatively the same kind of thickness and things that we're going to do the whole way up the entire nail. Bringing it right over that point to the same level as the other side of the triangle. Um, I'm not over fussed about this because I'm going to file it crisp but just make sure as always you're not using tiny little beads. You want to build your strength with these beads. So then obviously I've left that to set and come back. As I'm leaving it to set, I'm moving on with other nails. So I will come back, file crisp down one side, crisp level down the other side as well, going to back to that triangle to make it so that when you put your next colour, it is going to be super, super clean. So I'm going in with some glitter now up the other side. Again, I'm trying to keep it the same width as the white that we've applied. And then I'm going to go right up to that point, right up to the edge of the white. So going in like a braid style. Make sure that when you're doing this with glitter, that you cap your glitter before you um, file it crisp because you're not going to come back and cap this now. So make sure you cap your layer of glitter. Then I'm just going to repeat the same process the whole way up the entire nail using all three colours.
So the nails were all completed and fully set and I'm just going to show you me filing this nail um, into shape. As you can see it's pretty bulky. This was my first attempt at trying this braid nail and actually my first attempt at doing it at all so this client was really brave to let me try and do this on her. There are a few little imperfections that I was a little bit miffed about but you know what? Um, it happened and my client absolutely loved these nails and I really, really loved these nails too. So what I'm doing is basically taking this e-file and I'm having it on quite a high speed, getting around the cuticle area, taking off all of the bulk, revealing those nice sharp lines, trying to get my shape in as well because I've lost that along the way just a little bit. Um, and then when I'm finished with the e-file, because obviously you don't want to then file over too much, I'm going to go back with my hand file. I'm going to show you how I hand file that nice and crisp as well. It did take a while because obviously you're building at different angles and different levels and then you're having to file quite a bit off. So, so it's, it, it takes a lot of practice getting these not polished designs, not only for the design, but to get the nail in a nice um, a, you know, a proper shape, proper structure and stuff like that. So just practice and practice and you will get there in the end, but just keep your eye on your structures and your positioning of your acrylic. And obviously your foundation needs to be spot on as well. So I'm just taking my file, I'm doing the side walls, the free edge, going around the cuticle area. I'm doing that bulk of the nail, keeping my file nice and flat. I still want my apex in there because as we've said, we're not gonna cap this nail. So making sure your file is, um, on around a 45 degree angle around the cuticle area and then flat when you're going towards the tip so you're not taking away your apex. And then keep turning your client's hand around as well to, so you can see it from their angle to make sure it's perfect from that angle as well. And then when you're happy with that, you're gonna go on and file the rest of the nails and we'll be ready to top coat. So once I was done with all the filing, just did off, buffed and all that, I've got, I'm just going to go in and apply some Swarovski crystals on the white nail just to kind of blend that whole design and all set in together. going to go in with your top coat, top coat all the nails, apply your cuticle oil and that's the finished video. If you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do. I love you all and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!